I am uh, Dr. Sagar Nigwekar. Um, I am a nephrologist, which is uh, a kidney specialist. I am uh, at Massachusetts General Hospital, and we are really excited uh, to be here today at the open house of uh, the Fresenius uh, Kidney Care's uh, uh, Chelsea Dialysis Unit. Uh, dialysis is, of course, a life-saving procedure uh, for individuals who have uh, uh, kidney failure. Uh, this particular uh, life-saving procedure comes in two types. One is hemodialysis and one is peritoneal dialysis. At the facility that we are opening today, uh, the patients will be receiving uh, hemodialysis, which is the most common type of dialysis uh, used in the United States. So the, it's of course very exciting for us to be here. This community um, until now had, did not have a dialysis facility, so one of the constant requests at our hospital at Mass General we used to receive is uh, to open actually a facility. So we are excited to have this collaboration with the Fresenius Kidney Care to open this facility. As you see behind me, uh, we are at the entrance of this uh, dialysis facility and there is actually uh, a water purification uh, uh, site where um, water gets purified before it is introduced into the patients uh, to successfully remove uh, the toxins that accumulate in their body as a result of uh, kidney failure. Um, so once again, uh, uh, we are very enthused and excited and looking forward to uh, serving this community. Okay, hi, I'm Mallory. I'm the charge nurse too here. This is our dialysis machine. It works as the kidney for the patient. Um, we do it three days a week, anywhere from three to four and a half hours. Um, we string this. This is the blood pump. We string it through um, lines and we connect it to the patient and we, we circulate their blood through a dialyzer that would go here. The dialyzer acts as a membrane as the kidneys so it filter, uh, filters water out and it filters toxins out. This is the bi-bag um, compartment so we use bicarbonate to buffer the pH of the blood and before bicarb was actually like perfected people used to get really really sick on dialysis now through the bicarb we make them it's not as sick and it's more gentle of a treatment there's also um, this is where the bath is it's potassium and calcium and because the kidneys balance potassium and calcium we have to use a uh, potassium and calcium bath to make sure all the electrolytes are balanced and they can live a long and healthy life Director of Operations for Fresenius Kidney Care, the North Mass area. 
We're very excited to be here tonight, and thank you for coming as well. We are going to move to the ribbon cutting ceremony. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Could be dangerous. So I guess I have to make an announcement that has been many years in the making, and I'm very happy to do it, and very proud to be associated with all these good people are here tonight, members of uh, my community at Mass General Hospital, folks from Fresenius Medical Care, and I'm exceptionally pleased to see a number of patients that I take care of who are also here, scouting out this new unit, and I strongly feel this is going to be the best dialysis unit in the greater Boston area in a very short period of time. And we have it in a community that richly deserves uh, to have a dialysis unit here, and it will make the lives of folks who live in this community so much easier. And ultimately, we will strive to deliver the care that they deserve and produce the results that they deserve in terms of completing their dialysis care, getting kidney transplants, and living health healthy and uh, fruitful lives. So, having said that, I will cut the ribbon. Great. Woo! Good evening again. Our next speaker I'd like to introduce is the Associate Chief, Division of Nephrology at Massachusetts General Hospital, Dr. Winfred Williams. Thank you, thank you very much. So it's a real pleasure to be here and uh, this is a stellar unit and I think I met uh, the project man manager, uh, Mr. Cronenwetter. Where is he? Project manager. He disappeared on us. <laughs> he's around. I just saw him too. But I wonder if he's interested in another job. I've got a renovation that I'm sure I could use his help on. <laughs> but uh, thank you all for coming out. Our colleagues, our friends, um, our patients who are really interested in coming to this unit. I think it's a really very exciting time. I was going to tell Sagar, um, maybe I can have a job here too. <laughs> I'll give up my office in MGH. Um, but uh, let me tell you a bit about my interest here. I am a transplant nephrologist at uh, MGH, so transplantation is my forte, and I won't get run out of here. But, uh, you know, I ob obviously do a lot of dialysis as well. Transplantation, we think, is a great objective for our patients. And if you look at the transplant waiting list in the United States, <clears throat> numbers on the order of 90 to 100,000 patients, and we only do about 17, 000, 17 to 19,000 kidney transplants a year. <clears throat> so there's a huge demand for transplantation, but there's a long, long waiting list. Those patients typically in Region 1 where we are have to wait on the order of five to six years, and so it's key for them to have great dialytic support, great dialysis care, and that's what I think this unit holds a promise to uh, afford our patients outstanding state-of-the-art care and hopefully they're, they'll be in good shape to stay in great shape for the opportunity uh, for transplantation. So we're looking forward to sending many of our patients here and getting them back on the transplant service to do the job that we uh, can do for them in terms of getting them to the opportunity for a kidney transplant. The other part of my life, I have many hats at Mass General, but the other part of my life is on diversity and inclusion initiatives. And diversity and inclusion is a core value for the Mass General. It's been such for 25 years. I've been there longer than I want to admit, 30 years, and I've been a part of diversity initiatives uh, that long. And one of the mandates <coughs> for the Mass General is to extend our best practices for community health. And the Chelsea community is one that typically has a wide range of patients, some of which are uh, disadvantaged, some are socioeconomically challenged. We want to make sure that they have the best practices for kidney care as well so that we can eliminate disparities in end-stage renal disease management uh, as best we can. And the MGH is very committed uh, to that effort. So I want to thank you all. I met uh, Councilman uh, Robinson earlier. We are very committed to this goal <coughs> to serve your community and your patients who are soon to be our patients. And thank you all for coming out. 
and we have a rousing endorsement for this uh, facility. It's really first rate, looks uh, state of the art. We're happy to be here. So thank you very much. Thank you.